Hello everybody, this is uh, Troy Harrison Christ, and welcome to another Troy Harrison uh, Tech Review. Today we are going to be overclocking the MSI GTX 1070s. I have two of them, so it's overclocking both. Um, usually it sits at 1582 when you're not really doing anything, but since I just clicked on Shadow Play, apparently it just boosted it up to 721. So let me show you my normal temps, uh, my normal power limit, and uh, my normal overclock on the the core clock megahertz so power limit you don't always need to max this out I would recommend unlinking these and take your temp, temp limit all the way up and then um, when you're doing these sliders kind of take take your power limit maybe to 110 boost it up and then see if that's enough power to get your your overclock currently I'm working at 75 so let me show you guys um, a test. I I don't overclock my memory because it hasn't shown me any benefits. Any game I go into that shows the memory limit, it doesn't show that it goes up or anything. And uh, sometimes it's a little bit unstable when you overclock uh, the memory clock. Just on my certain card, I don't know why. So let's open up my favorite benchmark. Uh, where are you, for honor? For honor, where are you? Am I blind? Did I uninstall it? Oh, there it is. Sorry. So For Honor is a great benchmark because it has one built in and it's a AAA game built by U Ubisoft or Ubisoft. Pretty sure it's Ubi. So I like to use that. I run it in windowed mode and then just throw all the settings up. I open this right now. It's going kind of slow. But anyway, um, I don't feel a reason to buy anything over a 1070 because the 1070 is overclocked so well. Look at that. 1999. That's 2000 megahertz to me. So like, look at that clock. It, it boosts straight to 2,000 megahertz all day. In fact, just cause it boosted it to 76. And then it goes up to 2,012. This is all normal. And look at our temps. I mean, just idling, we're kind of hovering around 43. I mean, we are turning up the clock significantly. Oh, last thing. I 100% recommend turning up your fan speed to 100%. Like, MSI like advertises that their fans are so quiet, blah, 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 blah. At, and they keep them at low, low percentage. But, like, if you're overclocking, turn that shit up. Who cares about noise? I have 13... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12 fans in my rig. So, there's no... Fuck the noise. Who cares about the noise? All right. Let's get into this benchmark, shall we? I want to show you guys that it's stable at this 2,000 megahertz. If you see up here, uh, it shows 2,000. Right here, it shows 1999. I don't know about that. Um, do I have to change something before? Oh, you go into graphics, not display. Here we go. Here's my settings. Everything on. I think I'm running at 1080, though. 1080p, everything. Ultra, ultra, ultra. Yeah, but I'm running it in window mode so I can see my MSI Afterburner and my Corsair link. All right, let's run the benchmark, shall we? And you guys can see that these 1070s just just chug through it at 2,000 megahertz all day, every day. I could probably clock it even more. But, like, you really don't need more than 2,000 megahertz. I just don't get why they ship this card at 1582 if it can so clearly clock to 2,000. It's just, like, they don't. they don't want it to be super overpowered than the card they're selling for, like, more money. 
I don't know. But as you can see on the benchmark, um, we're running around 60 frames. Everything is good. No artifacting at all. Everything looks, everything looks as it's supposed to. That's the one thing I like to look for in, uh, in benchmarks. Look for textures popping in and out. Look for shadows not working. Don't worry as much about your frame rate when you're overclocking. Make sure it's stable. You should see performance gains as you're overclocking. If you start to see that your averages start getting lower, then maybe start turning down your overclock. But just turn it up till your averages go up, go up. I, I really redline the crap out of mine. As you can see in this little window over here, it's all chilling. We're running 75. Like it, These cards cool so well, and they have so much headroom on the overclock. It's ridiculous. So that was running at 19.99 uh, with a plus 76 on the overclock. Let's turn it up a little bit more, shall we? Here's our results. Overall, our minimum was 53, average 72, and a maximum of 122. All right, let's go over to the core clock. Let's turn it to 80 for shits and giggles. Apply. And we'll see if it turns it up any higher. Sometimes the card's just like, you don't need to turn it up anymore. And it won't tell you that you've turned it up more. I don't know if you have to quit the game or not for it to apply. But it's up to 80. It hasn't given me that boost yet. It still says it's 2,000 megahertz. That might, maybe that's the limit. Anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. My name is Troy Christ. If you like uh, tech videos, benchmarks, whatever, gameplay, <coughs> pardon that voice crack. Don't hold me to that voice crack. That was bad. Oh, well. Anyway, as you can see, you can easily overclock an MSI GTX 1070 to 2000 megahertz. You can even do it with SLI with, like, a card above it sucking hot heat from the, the card below it. Like... It all works. These cards are super good at cooling. Like, I do have a ridiculous amount of fans in my rig. And if you guys want, I'll show a detailed video of my rig. But I can't say enough about these MSI cards. Like, incredible. Why do they ship them at 1582? Like, I know they have their overclocking mode where they boost it to, like, 1780-something, uh, if I'm correct. But with GPU Boost 3.0, like, these cards just want to fucking... They want to clock. They want to clack, so I recommend downloading MSI Afterburner. I, I literally uninstalled the MSI gaming app because you can just do everything in Afterburner. This is what I recommend. Power limit 120, temp limit 92, core clock plus 80 or plus 75, whatever, either way works. Memory clock, you really don't you really don't need to do this, but if you have if your card lets you overclock the memory and you find that you get performance bonuses from that, do that. I just don't find that it it helps me in any games. Like Watch Dogs 2 has a memory bone like a memory setting that shows how much memory your cards have and when I turn it up it never shows a different number in that. I don't know if that's just the game or it, whatever. So and the last thing, turn them fans up people. Who cares about noise? Who cares? I don't should hear my rig right now. In fact, you probably can. It's probably picking up in the mic. Alright, thanks for watching. I'm gonna end this right now. Goodbye.